Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. I'm Mora, and welcome to another video walkthrough of the Nancy Drew Game series. Today I'm playing Tomb of the Lost Queen, the 26th game in the series, and it takes place in Egypt. Wow. Nancy's going for more exotic traveling. Okay, so as you can see here, the game looks different. From this game to Sea of Darkness, there are more changes in the games. Starting with this, a new menu. So the games no longer start with Nancy in front of her desk giving a voiceover narration and talking about the case file and clicking on the plane ticket to go to her location. When you want to start a new game, you click here on New Game. And instead of Junior or Senior Detective, you have Amateur or Master Sleuth. So I'm going to go with Amateur Sleuth. So here's a little prologue relating to the case that Nancy's narrating. A British expedition set off in hope of finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, consumed dead. For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed tea remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. So that's what's happening to Nancy in the present day, 100 kilometers outside of Cairo. She's at a dig site with a new expedition. <gasps> Sandstorm. <gasps> that's John Boyle, the leader of the expedition. So Nancy's part of a new expedition oh, down in Ka the near Cairo. The storm. They kept talking about in this the dig site disappeared and near the tomb. Gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that. What? Well, the docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? As soon as they release me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. Okay, before I hang up, I want to show you, like... Uh, among other changes, there's a new interface. Here's the conversation box between Nancy and the character. Um, the phone is to the left here. The tasks and journal lists uh, are right here on the right. Uh, different tabs. And right here is the menu where you can have the option of returning to the main menu, saving your game, resuming the game. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, um, before I do any exploring, I'm going to talk to another member of the crew, Lily. Nancy, you decided to stay? Of course. Good. We need all the help we can get. Look, this is awkward. What's that? Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team. Which is just you. Sure, I don't mind. Good. For now, you can look around if you want. Just don't screw anything up. Trust me. I just don't want okay, to. Okay, as you can see color. here, I'm at least on Amateur Detective, when you have a a, a ta new task given to you, they will they will they'll appear at the top. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. Bye. See you. 
Okay, that's Lily's bunk. John's bunk is right back here. Whoa, you cannot go back there. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Bye-bye. See ya. All right, now that I've told Lily, I'm going to get those. So here are John's notes. These are going to come in handy Part of John's later. Notes I'm missing. That doesn't seem right. And... Here's his trunk. There's at least one thing I need to get here, this lighter. Oh, he got a letter from Franklin Rose uh, of Beach Hill Museum from Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Oh, I love these connections the games make to others. Nancy comes highly recommended, obviously. Okay, Nancy's bunk is right here, and this bunk back here belongs to another crew member, Abdullah. But if you try exploring it right there while Lily's present, uh, trying to go back there too many times while she's present, then it's game over. And I don't want that to happen. Okay, uh, Beatrice Hotchkiss. Yeah, she left Mandy, as she put it, her phone number, and I am going to need to call her sometimes in this game for interpreting puzzles. Uh, before I forget, let me look in Nancy's trunk right here to pick up... Great. Necessary items. To translate the hieroglyphs. Yes, I'm going to be doing that a lot in this game. Oh, these must be pictures of people who won past her interactive contests. I can't take this with me, but um, got to look at this to how to read the hieroglyphs. Ooh, a Coco Pringle bar. Mm. Okay, and this is not pivotal to finishing the game, but. There's a little mini game right this here. This game looks cool. Can we play? Yes. The goal but you do have to still have to look at it because these five red, symbols will come in handy at a much later puzzle in the game. Sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you all right, move. Light if sticks. all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. All right. I threw a two. What does that so mean? then Nancy moves two you spaces. Can move any of your tokens to either an empty square um, or a square occupied These are Nancy's by tokens. tokens. These are Lily's tokens. If you throw a one, I have to say, Nancy's five, tokens look a bit like Hershey's kisses. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. I pulled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token starting position. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board each with their own name and design. The square with the onk is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. I see. They can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the onk. The last two are safe squares, so tokens okay. can't be swapped. So Let's these are safe, it. that's you a danger, open. and that's safe too. All right. All right. Move three. Okay, um... Okay, yeah, if you throw the sticks and you get one light, four light, or all dark, that then you get, get another turn. Okay, so I threw a two. Um... And the first person to get all their tokens to the end of the board wins. I'm sending you back. Oh, really? Well, oh, you got lucky there. I don't think you can... Oops. Rats! That's, I like rats! <laughs> back to where you came from. Is that so? Okay, um, well, move this. No fair! Oh, really? I'm sending you back.
All right. Uh. Oh boy. So again, it's not pivotal to play in this game. Uh, Senate, it, Sene, I'm not sure how you say it correctly, but if you play it at least five times, you get an award. I'm just only going to play it this one time because I wanted to show you guys what it's like. Can't do that. Oh, yeah, because she's on the onk. Ha! Ha! Oh, boy. I don't want to land there, so I'm not going to... Mm. Oh, I get move five spaces. Um... Two, three, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, I'll move that so I can at least have a token past the board. Hey! Hi! Well, if she beats me, I'll accept it. I don't really care about winning this game. I just want to see it to the end. Because uh, I just wanted to finish up and showing you what it's rats. like. <laughs> rats. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh. Whoa, I got a lucky streak going on here, but not for long. Oh, darn. Oh, there she goes. Well, if she wins again, I'll, I'll let her. I don't think that'll stay. Um. Look out! Hey! Aw, oh, nuts! Okay, um... Bad news for you! Darn it! Look out! No fair! <laughs> Bad news for you! Darn it! 
Huh. Back to where you came from. Oh, for Pete's sake. Look out. Back to where you came from. It's rad. I'll get her stuck. Rats. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. Alright, all right, so I guess I have to go this way. Oh, but she's gonna beat me, I know it. Oh. Maybe I will win. Ha ha ha! I win! Congratulations to the senator from Egypt. Me. Me. <laughs> okay, now I'll go into the tomb to look around. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to go to the antiquities tent, see if there are any tools I can bring with me and any other items. Uh, let's see. Okay, a pick, a brush. And ooh. I should try to piece the amulet back together. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, is that a uh, reference number, a site part number, a reference to a place in the t in the in the site where it came from? Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's like a little jigsaw puzzle, really. Okay. Alright. But it looks like there's still a piece missing. Right here. Well, if I can uh, figure out the meaning of this number, maybe I can find the missing piece. Um, nothing here. Ooh, I also meant to point out, like, you'll notice that the um, icon is different. The magnifying glass, when it changes, like, there's a hand, the hand that appears looks like a normal human hand. And when you zoom in on something, the magnifying glass will be white instead of red like it always has been. Okay, um... Okay, here's a map of the site. So I need that to... Oh, hey, a phone charm! Egyptian phone charms! I was hoping those existed. Well, unlike the captive curse, I'm not gonna bother looking for all the charms in this game. Ooh, I could use this flashlight, probably. Um... Oh, here's this tile. Okay. That's what I can use this for. Uh, I think... You get an award if you use the dictionary on the hieroglyphs, uh, on, not all, on all of them, but at least most of them. Uh, I'm going to need this, too. And I gotta look at this, because this'll be for a puzzle later. Okay, now that I have the map of the dig site, uh, 
there's one more um, type of map to look at. Okay, this is the grid site. Uh, it looks like um, the amulet uh, was, that number was N13E2, came right here. So I'll go look in there, see if I can find the last piece. And while I'm here at the moment, you can get one Easter egg very easily. Pick up the pick and use it on the jar here. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, before I forget, uh, you can also get an award if you drink, I think, at least six glasses of water. Um, don't do it all at once, though. Because if you drink them in all in rapid succession, like up to a seventh glass, you'll die. I'll just take three glasses and get the other three, and or may, and maybe another uh, a little later. Yeah, I think you need to drink at least six to get the award. Um, wonder who else will, sh will show up. Okay, um, now I'll go into the tomb, or the tunnels leading up to the tomb. This is Abdullah. Uh, if I go up here, I can use the dictionary on this too. Never enter where? Uh, ooh, there's, use the shovel. Yeah, when you zoom in on something, the mag again, the magnifying glass will turn white, and if you see the hand icon appear, it means you can pick it up then. So I would advise to uh, um, look through everything with a fine-tooth comb, because sometimes uh, it's hard for me to notice uh, the magnifying glass turn white against the, um, the background of the screen, unlike when it was would turn red. Okay, this is Abdullah Bakum. You can drag me away, but uh, if you don't mind, I prefer Nancy. I prefer the distinguished Dr. Bakum. It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. So I must know. I take it he holds himself in high esteem. Stupid. Oh, I'm not afraid of a curse, if that's what you're getting at. It is, but you still haven't answered my question. I'll say she's brave. Oh, I think she is. Brave. This is something the truly brave never say. Really? All right, I'll ask him What's all the going questions. To now that there's been a major injury. Usually it means we are going to be shut down. So now we work fast. Professor Boyle was supposedly injured by a lightning strike. The medical reports state that he was struck in the head with a blunt instrument. No, that can't be. That's what he said. This is serious. I know. Someone attacked him. Do not be so hasty. We don't know what happened. But it's best you be careful anyway. I think Professor Boyle was attacked. Do you have any evidence? No. No. It's just a guess. If I'm wrong and it's an accident, then no harm done. If I just assume it was an accident and let his attacker get away with it, who knows who will get hurt next? You are very shrewd. What do you think about Professor Boyle? He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. Did you two get along? Get along? I know him. I respect his work. Were you okay with Professor Boyle working the site with you? No. Why not? When you are the best, like I am the best, no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. But Professor Boyle is one of the best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't be getting in your way. One of the best. <laughs> I am the best. That's why this site is mine. What are you working on? This mural here. There is something very important hidden in this wall. I don't know if I can decode it in time. Can I give it a shot? No. You want to try the other mural up top? Yeah, sure. I need a few tips for reading the hieroglyphs. A few tips? <laughs> yes. That's how I learned to read hieroglyphs. At first, they were inscrutable and mysterious, but then I got some tips. Just go look in your books. Have you made progress? Did you find anything to say whose tomb this is? I wish I could say we found the lost queen, but I don't know for sure yet. The answer is here. We may find the mummy, but if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. Do you have any idea what that inscription means? Look at the hieroglyphs. They are not supposed to be riddles, and I still grappled with them. 
sometimes for years. The actual riddles, <laughs> forget it. That's why I'm here, staring at this wall. I cannot think if I am not working. What do you know about Lily? I've seen many like her. What does that mean? Ambitious, young, smart. The ones like that, they achieve. Or they flame out in a big... <laughs> that seems... dramatic. The world moves on the back of dramatic lives. I do not think this is a good thing. Lily, she is like a spinning top. She stands straight, but the slightest nudge, she will go ping, flying off in a crazy direction. I do not trust her. Then why did you choose her to be part of the dig? Someone I fully trust would never be able to surprise me. I still don't understand why you would want Lily to work with you. She is smart, and her downfall is being too ambitious. She is so much like me, I'd be a hypocrite to not like her. Goodbye. Bye. All right. When I look this way, then, um, lines up with the map here. So tunnel one is to my left. Tunnel two is straight ahead. Tunnel three is to right. Did I say tunnel one was to the left or, well, it's to the left, but I think I was meant to say, yeah, tunnel one is to the left. Two is straight ahead. Tunnel three is to the right. Um, first, so first I'm going to go to this one. Oh, here's some more hieroglyphs. I think I'll hold this book up in case I run across more hieroglyphs that need translated. Yep. Okay. It's a dead end, but at least I did something by finding those hieroglyphs. Uh, I think I'll go to uh, Tunnel 2 next. That's where the amulet piece was found. Oh, hey, another bird tile. Well, no problem. I can just pick it right off. So this looks like a mural of different birds. And, uh, is that a cat? Um, this is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. Yep, so when I use the brush, there it is. Okay, that's all there is here. Tunnel 3 uh, is what has more to show. Okay, I don't see any hieroglyphs on the outside here. Um, oh, here's some... Whoa! It's just a jumble of uh, letters. Okay, so... Yep. This is not one you can easily translate with the dictionary. It's a special code. Okay, so much like uh, interpreting those pages of El Toro's Giorno in Ransom of the Seven Ships, um, you have to uh, decipher the code with uh, the letters of the English dictionary. And then it'll spell out the message. So, uh, when you work on some letters with, uh, to fill out words, uh, you'll, you'll be able to know, as it said in the one dictionary in Nancy's bunk, that, um, the rest will automatically fill up letters that, hieroglyphs that share, uh, the set letter with others, so then that'll help fill out the puzzle, and by sort of a process of elimination, you can figure out what letters are remaining or what's and what spaces are need, still need to be filled out to fill out the words that what the what the message is saying looks like i need to find out who the four sons of horus were okay so that's deciphered. It looks like the red, red scarab is missing. I don't I know exactly what this puzzle's supposed to be. Get all the um, pieces in their plate colored places and something will happen. Alright, uh, let's see. Alright. Again, I don't think you need to translate all the 
glyphs in the game to win the award, but if you translate many of the, most of them, many of them, you will get it. Okay. This must be the queen's titles John mentioned in his notes. It looks like a hieroglyph appears in the bottom row when the column contains only one type of hieroglyph. I need to rearrange the pieces so the bottom reveals the hidden message. Yeah, you need to arrange them so that all of these spaces are filled out. And in amateur sleuth mode, this one is stuck in place for you to help. So I have to move these accordingly until these are all colored blue. And then I'll use the dictionary to translate what it says. All right. That's it. Now if I only knew what it meant. Well, that's what this is for. Before I check it out. A queen is buried here. I knew it. All right. It's still sealed. Not for long. <laughs> Oops. Oops is right. Okay, it's pitch black in here. I need to That's find why I got the flashlight. The wow. What are you doing? I think we found the tomb. I've got to see this myself. Brilliant. Okay, we've got Abdul coming and two new people. The man is Dylan, the woman is Jamila. What is this? Look at the iron. There is something very important. It's a curse. Everyone, get out of here. Oh, I can just get this light to turn back on. No! All right, um, before I do anything else, I want to talk to Hi, Lily. Nancy. Do you think there's something to this curse? I've studied curses, so look. Don't make me say it. Say what? Yes, I do. Even reading about curses gives me the creeps. Why are you reading about curses? They give you the creeps. I know, it's weird. It's like if I can learn everything about curses, then maybe they won't have any control over me. I can tell that you probably don't believe in curses, so please don't make fun of me. I'm not. Sorry, I'm just a bit worked up. I'm probably just being oversensitive. Oh, you're too calm. Do you know how effective curses are? They are deadly 76.42% of the time. You know what else has that fatality rating? White water rafting with a hungry bear who also has the bird flu and he's holding dynamite. What? what did you think about being there to finally open the tomb? I don't know what to think. When I was near it, it just felt... No, it's stupid. What? Something was in that room with me. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. At least not anymore. Don't go in there. What do you think of Abdullah? Say what you want about how he behaves. He's earned it. What makes you so sure of that? I've studied his career. He's a bit of a jerk, but let's face it. When you think of archaeology, you think of him. He's the best. A decade of dedicated study. Okay, I guess you have a point. Thanks. It just bothers me when people are critical of him. He's sort of a hero of mine. What's that book? Curses of the World, the Compendium of Cruel Curses and Curious Casualties. It does have a lot of C's. Yes, it does. It doesn't seem like light reading. I was originally going to go into paleontology, but no, I changed my mind freshman year. Why did no one tell me about how creepy curses are when I switched majors? Dinosaurs were bad news back in the day, but now, totally safe. Mummies, on the other hand, I make poor life choices. The curses aren't real. You'll be fine. No, no more taunting the curse, at least not around me. I'm too young to die out here. I have things to do. I'm still in school. I haven't even started my life yet. I'm not tempting fate here, Nancy. I refuse. Okay, I can respect that. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, um... I want to go back to the antiquities tent to put the last piece of the amulet together. Got it. Um, I also want to put the flashlight back. Ah, oh. Flashlight's dead. I'll need to find another light source. So, I can't use that anymore. Well, don't worry. I know what to do. Oh, here's Dylan. Before I talk to him, I want to get some more water. Oh. 
Okay. We're gonna need this as well. Okay, now I'll talk to Dylan. Hello. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I am Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, good chat. I mustn't keep you from your duties. What do you think of Abdullah? He's got quite the ego. Uh, yeah, sure I think I could it. already tell. What makes you say that? If he didn't, no one would put up with him. History's great pioneers always tend to be a bit prickly. Sure, he's a tyrant, but he's supposed to be the best in his field. Do you think he is? Well, who knows if it's true? He's either the best or the guy who says, I'm the best, the loudest. Unfortunately, either one of those two things works equally well. You know, he's just on the edge. What do you mean? He's close to being known the world over. He must have gotten a glimpse of what that would be like. I wonder what he'd do to make it over that last hurdle. Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? Why aren't you hanging out outside? Yeah, I have better things to do. I have better things to do. No, oh, you do not. When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? No, why? why? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sun. You know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because everyone else got sick of it? That they did. Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. What do you do, exactly? As a tour guide, I show the world to those who want to see it. It's the best job on the planet, next to lion tamer or astronaut. Where do you give tours? All throughout Egypt. That sounds like a fantastic job, but why aren't you leading a tour now? It's getting very competitive these days. I need every advantage I can get. Well, that's why I'm here, to be perfectly on the level I have to be. Since you're a tour guide, can you give me any information about Egypt I might need to know? Sure, here. Great. These will come in handy for a another puzzle later. Why are you so sure the public would want to tour this site? Surely you've heard of the curse. I have. Of course. Do you believe in it? Curses. Of course I do. But since Am you're I a here, disbeliever you in curses? Curse yourself. <laughs> I've been gloriously yes. unlucky my whole life. If I haven't made I that quite obvious from worse. playing these games where Nancy expresses disbelief, yes, that's how it is with me too. I'll catch you later. Come back anytime. All right. I want to talk to everyone else now. Um, Abdullah and find Jamila. Yes? Is it strange that some of the hieroglyphs don't make sense? They don't go back to the tomb. There is a saying. If a lion could speak, we would not understand him. So let's say one day, magically, poof, a very smart lion learns to speak the king's English. How he understands the world is so radically different that even though you understand the words he spoke, you could never understand what he was trying to say. Is that how you think of the ancient Egyptians? Yes. Now let me show you why I am the best archaeologist in the world in one simple step. Okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. I am Ramses II. Let's just play along. <laughs> I thought you looked familiar. Please, I am much more handsome than he was. Now pay attention. I, Ramses the Second, I look at my kingdom. Look at it with me. Be Ramses with me. Come now, survey the kingdom. For we are sake. kings. <laughs> look at the sands. They part in the most elegant tribute to our majesty. Listen to the river. We're not doing it. This is I silly. I can't do it. It's too silly. No, refusing to learn. That is silly. Again. Listen to the river. That is better. The birds of prey and even the deadly serpents bow before us. They look to us as if we were the sun. And remember, we are Ramses. We are the sun, most favored by Ra, sun god. The heartbeat of this world is for us alone. Looking at all of this, what do you want? What could I possibly want? Exactly. Now tell me. 
What are you afraid of? I guess losing what I have. Yes, you are thinking like a parrot. Now tell me, how could you lose what you have? I can't lose anything. I'm the pharaoh. Wrong. You can and you will. You will die, Ramses the Second. You will be gone and forgotten. Okay. Okay. But how does all of this lead to the lost queen? For thousands of years, the lion spoke and no one understood. But understand the fear and you understand the man. What do you think of this tomb? What are you getting at? It's amazing. The amount of detail, the size. Well, someone really important must be buried here. After 5,000 years of recorded history, that could be said about every hole in the ground. But that's what you think, isn't it? I don't leave the house for anything less than amazing. So it's safe to assume this is going to be a major find? You tell me. Who do you think is buried here? No, I do not guess. Who are you hoping to find here? Who does everyone want to find? The lost queen. Who is that? Nefertari. Why is she lost? Over 100 years ago, they found her tomb. The most magnificent of its kind. But when they opened the tomb, do you know what they found? Uh, nothing? They found two kneecaps. What? The queen was nowhere to be found. Why is that? Nobody knows. I say she was never there to begin with. You have proof? You have proof? No. The people who had proof have been dead 100 times longer than they were ever alive. So they're not talking. We have to learn to think like they did. But it's not easy. Anyone who says different lies or is stupid. Do you know Dylan? I know of him. You do? So he has a reputation? He is a very popular guide, but whatever that is worth. I do not like guides. They distort history and turn the other way. A sticky fingered tourist steal every bit of Egypt they can find. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Not harsh enough. Every tourist thinks, what will it hurt? I'll just take one small piece of the pyramids. And they come, and they come, by the millions they come. And bit by bit, they smuggle our history back in their luggage. <laughs> They're worse than the museums. Do you think international teams have stolen artifacts from Egypt? No, I do not think. I know. You don't seem very happy to have Dylan here. Good. I'm glad you noticed. If this were my sight, like it should be, he'd be out on the sand with his hat in his hand, trying to catch a ride back to Cairo. And he would never find one, because there is no street. I translated the hieroglyphs. Beginner's look. <laughs> I'd better get going. See you later. Okay, here's Jamila. The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. Shh! Do not tempt the Anunnaki. Say what? The what? I the should what? not have even spoken their name. Disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. What do you think of Abdullah? Not much. He talks always like there's an audience near. But what audience would listen to such a tedious man? I say let him think he's in charge if it makes him happy. You don't think he should be in charge? I don't think he's capable of being in charge. He doesn't even believe in the Anunnaki. What do you think of Dylan? The tour guide? Yeah. Did I have to have an opinion of him? I guess not. I'm good. That's a relief. Are you worried about the curse? Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? A time like what? The makers. The original architects. They're watching. Who are you talking about? Nancy, they can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Right. Here we were born. And like all infants, this is where we were taught. Taught what? To be human. 
We didn't just figure that out. But for millennia, we lived in caves, terrified of the very earth, of fire and wind and lightning. We cowered and dug down into the earth. But one thing of all humans, we are curious. One night, our ancestors saw the sky catch fire, and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light. And there they met the Anu... the teachers. I don't follow. They brought us to the next level of consciousness, and in return, we built them the pyramids. Well, that makes sense. It does? You didn't expect me to agree. Most people take a little convincing. If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. When did you become so interested in aliens? Sunny June. I took his Sunny June. Alien or Ailey out course. Changed my life. Did you know that aliens were there at every major human milestone, with the exception of the moon landing? All right, I'll buy Why? Because it was a rude thing to How do. How many times we before this game have we Who is seen Sunny, Sunny June? June's name? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. I can't explain it all to you, not now. He's special. He's met them. Uh, met whom? You don't make this easy, do you? To be fair, neither do you. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. I'm still not a believer. <laughs> Look around! This temple is proof. There is no way all of this could have been built without their help. Are all you those serious? Things seem like human accomplishments to me. As they were designed to look. I think a lot of but things I in this world are man-made, not alien-made. But I better get going. Goodbye. All right. Um now I want to go to the tunnel where the tomb is. Cuz that looked like a sarcophagus in there. But it's still dark. The flashlight isn't I don't, working. I don't have a working flashlight. Light the way. So, I need the oil. A lamp. Great. I just need to find a way to get it working. To put in this lamp here, and then light the with the lighter. I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. All right. So this is a puzzle. There be lamp. I say let there be light. All right. Um, let me take the dictionary. That's not good. Oh, some is translated in English. Is. Well, the rest is gibberish. <laughs> so I have to translate it like I did that one place, typing in the letters according with the symbols. Now, after the first uh, hieroglyph, hieroglyph puzzle where you have to fill in uh, the letters below the symbols, you're given the option of quick translate, but I'm going to just try to show, just put them all in normally, because if you do that, do it that way, instead of using quick translate, you'll get an award. That's not good. Oh, great. Oh, uh, well, I think I can translate this normally. Um, hey, canopic jars. Are these meant to be the, the four sons of Horus? As that one message said. Well, maybe I should call Professor Hotchkiss about this. It looks like something is missing. Yes, there it looks like there's an indentation. Something goes in here. Now let me look at the sarcophagus. Ah, okay. Way too heavy. If I could make some sort of lever, I bet I could use that hole and open the coffin. 
What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Uh, since I got those discs, I want to look, uh, finally look at the relics book. Uh. Oh, so those are the, f yeah, the, f the, the four sons of Horus depictions, animals and the human. Uh, pr gave protection over the embalmed organs on canopic jars and amulets. So, yeah, those are the representations of the four sons. Okay, um. I can use these to help make the lever. And I want to find out what made that noise. <laughs> Whoa! The scaffolding collapsed. And I can take this board with me. Yes? That was a close call with the scaffolding. <laughs> I've seen worse. Twenty years ago, we were in a tomb, a minor site. A guy, much like your boy Dylan, kicked over a support beam and crash! It all came down! Seven of us, trapped under stones, big as automobiles. What happened? Five of us were eventually pulled out. What happened to the other two? What do you think happened? Do you think this has anything to do with the curse? Does it matter? Do you believe in the curse? Of course. Really? <laughs> then aren't you worried about being here? No, no, no. I am Abdullah Bakum. Curses have no power over me. What makes really? you so sure of that? I'm still alive. Many men cannot say the same thing. The true power of a curse, it lives here. What do you mean by that? <sighs> the curse of Antifi warns. Any man who enters my tomb, I will cast the fear of myself into him. I went into that tomb. And? And I knew the fear of Antifi. A curse when it has you is like a strange sickness, a fever, and it never goes away. But I thought you didn't believe in curses. No, I said curses have no effect on me. I am strong. Everyone else is a different story. Oh, so he does really believe in curses. Sympathy. He just thinks they won't harm him. Get into archaeology. Okay. I was a student, like Lily. I went out on a dig one day, and it was a very, very small tomb. Inside, nothing remarkable. Mummies, no hieroglyphs. But once I lowered myself down into the dark, dusty tomb, I felt a strange flutter in my chest, right here. And I do not know what overtook me, but I knew I had to push very hard on this wall. And it gave way. And you know what was there? What? I had opened the door thousands of years back in time. Ancient Egypt was down there. I have never again been the same. What do you think of Jamila? What is to think? She believes aliens built the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. So I take it you don't believe in aliens? Let me stop you there. Normally when people say that, they have more to say. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that we invented pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Are you okay with her staying here? <laughs> no. Get out of my sight! You do not own this temple! Leave now or I will remove you myself! Sheesh. I'd like to see you try. <clears throat> she sure seems determined to stay. Well, now that he's gone, let me what see if I can... What am I missing here? All right, so the last part is gibberish. I need to translate the hieroglyphs. Never Tari. Really? Can this be true? All right, now that I have the board and spears used to make a lever, I'm going to go back to the tunnel. Okay, Jamila's in here now. Oh, another, uh, another sarcophagus. And another message. 
Well, as it turns out, also I wanted to mention that a few of these uh, messages that you need to translate are clues for puzzles that need to be done later uh, within close proximity uh, of where these messages are and uh, using some of the items. So, uh, this is the clue for a, uh, yeah, uh, one of the puzzles. Uh, actually, uh, I need to figure out what this means. Okay, uh, yeah, this is, um, this is a clue for this puzzle right here. Correct gods to their proper locations. But I don't know them yet. And there are six of them here, that's what these squares are for. You gotta put them all in their proper places. Okay, um... Now, um... Talk to Jamila again. Nancy, what's been going on? I opened the sarcophagus. You did? Oh, I didn't expect you to be so excited. I doubt it has anything to do with the Anunnaki. You never know. I'll have to see this room myself. All right. I want to look in her handbag, but it. it's locked. locked. Well, I have a clue, two clues, although one of them I don't have with me in my inventory, but I look need here. To, open this. Uh, to know which buttons I need to press, it has to do with this and that crumbled up um, ad in the antiquities tent. Um, notice here there are numbers 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, just like on the 16, 8, 4, and 32 in that ad. Um, let's see. Uh, each part of the eye refers to a number in a sense, and in in the ad, uh, from as it goes, from 16 is corresponds to the first uh, button you press, 8 to the second button, 4 to the third, and 32 to the fourth. And so, 16... Uh, refers to hearing it's and it corresponds to this symbol right here so then eight is uh thought the this one right here and four to sight uh the circle here and then 32 to this part of the eye the taste so like as you can see here it's the well it's hard to explain but the numbers uh bottom numbers here like in these look since these look like fractions i'd say uh the, deno the denominators correspond to the the numbers in that ad from the tent, and then these the symbols next to it. So that means let's see. Uh, that means uh, this part, the hearing. That'll be number one. So number one, and then. Number, this will be number two, three, and four. Now I open her bag. Yeah, so like I said, um, that first part, uh, hearing, hearing, thought, sight, and taste. Oh, yeah, they were, that's, I'm sorry, they refer to, yeah, numbers and the set and senses as well so you have to use that and the ad to help figure out the code to open Why up her bag an expert need an archaeology textbook
Aha, uh -huh, here's something. What happened to the water? The water. Hey. That would be crazy enough to do this on purpose. That looks like a from something one of those. Uh, what do you call them? The part of the spaceship from her bag. Well, let's see if I have anything new to say to Dylan. I've got something for you. What's that? Proof that space girl is Batty. I saw her creeping around, and she dropped this here. It looks like some sort of code. Hey, Ooh, you're generous. Maybe it's the other part to man that man. paper I just took. Man. Yeah. This man is gender specific to men. Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I like you. Let's shake the dust off this small time tomb, off our boots, and see the world together. Um, that'd be nice. Yes. But you have to promise me that if it starts um, making sense... Yeah, let me ask him everything. ...call immediately and schedule yourself in for a full workover. You would have had fun seeing the world with me. Admit it. Where exactly did you come from? What do you mean? We're in the middle of nowhere. You couldn't have just walked here. Oh, I, I caught a ride with some traders, if you must know. Nasty customers, but they knew the way. This site is new. How did they just know the way? It's not on any map. I... I don't know. They just did, I guess. What can you tell me about these guys? What did they look like? What language did they speak? Nancy, I'm starting to think it might not be so smart to talk about this. For you or for me. Drop it. Don't bring it up again. Did you see who destroyed our water supply? Someone did what? So, that's a no? Do you have any idea why someone would do that? No one would be stupid enough to do that. What do you think about Jamila's alien theories? Not much. Subject change. Do you happen to know how a bloke like me might impress that cantankerous old curmudgeon down below? You mean... Oh, that's Dylan. a good word to describe him. Curmudgeon. Another one. Hmm. I imagine he responds to people talking about archaeology. Brilliant. I'll do that. Thanks, Nancy. Okay. What do you think of Jamila? Is she for real? Because, wow... I've met some nutters in my life, but that girl belongs in a museum herself, with a little tag that reads, Insanus Totalis. Oh, she's just different. No, I'm different. She's a crazy little rowboat adrift in a vast sea of insanity. I need your help distracting Lily. Why? I just do. What's in it for me? The personal satisfaction that comes with being a nice person? Nope. Say something nice about me to Abdullah. Uh, tell him I'm trustworthy. All right, fine. But make it sound natural. Don't just blurt it out. Finesse it into the conversation. I'll see what I can do. I better get going. Come back anytime. Okay, before I forget, I want to work on this. I think these this. will create words below. Yes, they will. Okay, so... Um, to... In the blank spaces, you have to use up all of these letters here only once. So, I can tell that's Temple, um, Canopic. Yeah, uh, it's hard to... Uh, sometimes it looks like they're spelling one word, but you have to look carefully so that you make sure you think it's using... Uh, spelling out the word you think it is, and that it'll use the letter, so you're... They, because you can only use each letter one time. Uh, that's Amulet. Up, that's up, upper, um, and uh, birds, Egypt, linen, mummy, obviously, treasure, organ, burial, pharaoh. Offers Natron, Scarab, 
and embalm. That's not it. Wait, maybe if I look at the first letter of each word and see if that says anything. Let's see what this spells out. Okay, unscramble the letters. I need to figure out what this means. I know just what it says. Blue cat opens tomb. Blue cat opens tomb. I should look around for something like that. And I will, but not just yet. Let me go talk to Abdullah so then I can put in a good word for Dylan and Dylan will distract Lily. Yes. Why would Ramses go through all the trouble to hide Nefertari away in a false tomb? Nefertari was most dear to Ramses the Second. He built her the most beautiful tomb of all the queens. He even built for her a temple at Abu Simbel. Wherever he stood, she stood by him. He was very afraid she would not find him again in the afterlife. He wanted her hidden away for eternity. Somewhere small and unremarkable where no one would think to look for her until the time was right. This is small and unremarkable? For you and me, no. For Ramses II, this is a one-room flat in a bad part of town. So that guy Dylan is pretty helpful. I'd say he'd be a smart addition to your team, considering his talent, his experience, his... you know... He told you to say that, didn't he? Maybe. <laughs> Tell him he is stupid. But use small words so he understands you. I'm not going to say that. Your kindness is as admirable as it is boring. <laughs> what will well, you excuse do me. if you find Nefertari? I will take her to see the well. She can't exactly see anything. She's dead. I know she's dead. I'll let the world see her. I will teach everyone why she is important. Doesn't the world already know that? No, they don't look hard enough. They need me to show them. Do you really care about teaching people or just about the exposure? It has been a long time since someone has had the nerve to speak to me in that manner. <laughs> you didn't answer oh my, my, my question. I won't. I won't answer any question in that tone. Not from you, not from the press, not from some American colleague. I have work to do. Leave me to it. I better get going. Bye. Okay. And, um, I'll talk to Dylan. So, did you tell Abdullah that I'm trustworthy? Oh, hey, you know, How did he react? that hat he's wearing Smiling? looks almost like a fedora that Indiana Jones I wears. I a single step <laughs> in my multi-tiered plan. Why is it so important that he trusts you? It's complicated and boring. Boring and complicated. You'd be bored hearing about the more complicated aspects of it. You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh, that's the spirit. Facing disappointment and not letting it get you down. Good show. But I am a man of my word. I.e. trustworthy. So I will distract Lily for you. Okay. Great. What should I do if I see her? We should have a code word. I don't know if that's necessary. Right, right. Uh, how about... Look out, it's Lily. Or, uh, she's back. Stop looking at her things. Okay, first of all, none of those are one word. Oh, good point. What about danger, or incoming, or impending lily? Maybe if you just whistle. Right. Okay. All good options. All right. Uh, okay, I have the opportunity to look at his bag. I will do that. Why would Dylan have this? Yes, for a live snake. Why would he have so many certifications? Hmm, that too. All right. Now I'll go look in the tent at Lily and Abdullah's bunks. Huh. Hey, it looks like there's a, a piece missing here on the sunglasses. Why is she reading about curses? What a strange lock. Has to be something around to help me figure this out. Yes, but I won't be able to do that until later. Ah, Chromeister storage unit. 
what haven't they made in these games? So this is a clue to how you do it, but I won't know how to open up her uh, case until uh, much later in the game. In fact, near almost near the end. Okay. Okay, nothing to see here except Abdullah's trunk, but it's locked. Okay. Let's see, um... Oh, he's back outside. I thought I'd be, um, better at whistling. <clears throat> it's uh, really dry here. Sorry about that. How'd impressing Abdullah go? Badly. He used some very inappropriate language. At least I think he did. It wasn't in English. Looks like you're making your own badges. You're not being honest with me about being a guide, are you? Well, the whole process is less official than you'd expect. Everyone makes their own credentials. Ask around. It might look a bit sketchy, but that's what's done. How can you prove you are who you say you are? I don't know if I can. Why did you become a guide? I don't know why anyone would ever do anything else. All right, let's see your guide skills in action. What? Well, you're a guide, and you want to work this site. Give me a tour. I thought you'd never ask, but there is a problem. I don't actually know anything about this site yet. Oh, well, right. that's true. I suppose I could make a conjecture here or there. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, crowd in, everyone, crowd in. Nicely done. You look excellent in that hat, Mrs. Johnson. Your husband must be a very lucky man. Okay. Oh, flattery will get you everywhere as a guide. I am. <laughs> in my, ex in my expertise, I now, if focus, I can even call it that, a little flattery will get you nowhere it's fast. Actually look with their eyes. Am I being a cynic you here? Yes. The site you see behind me is over 60 billion years old, and it was built by none other than the great Genghis Khan. That is not Say right. what? <laughs> it might be right. Remember, no facts. Now, someone will inevitably ask a shockingly stupid question. Play along now. Ask me the out-and-out -out stupidest question you could possibly think of. Are you serious? Uh... Can I live here? That sounds like the stupidest question I'd ask. Exactly. And then I say, very good question. No one knows. And I change the topic. And say something showy, like... Did you know that there is rumored to be a very deadly curse awaiting those foolish enough to venture into the next room? Now quickly, let's go to the next room. And that is how being a guide is done. Very nice. Nice. Or maybe one day you can see me I'm clapping. Tour, if my Not very survives until you enthusiastically. Goodbye. Come back anytime. All right, um, before I forget, I want to call John, update him. Tell him what's going on, but also call Professor Hotchkiss because I need information from her about the four sons of Horus. I mean, more than just their names. Hi. A tour guide just appeared out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, really. He showed up when we found the tomb. You're 100 kilometers outside of Cairo. That's too far afield to have a wacky next-door neighbor. Huh? No, really? Okay. I'm not used to watching this much television. It's doing strange things to my brain. Whatever he says, he didn't just drop in. He must be up to something. Okay. Abdullah seems confused by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Really? You sound surprised. <laughs> Astonished. Dumbfounded. With a twist of smug thrown in. <clears throat> so, if he's confused... Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's dumped, something unique is going on here. Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. <laughs> Show me a PhD student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. Really? Why that sounds great. Get me away from your work? I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge... Letter. It'll save you a lot of headaches. What do you know about Lily? Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. It's just strange that she's out there. Why? I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, 
The archaeology community is small. People talk. I guess all I'm going to say is it's surprising that Dola put her on his team. You can't just leave it at that. The curiosity center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Oh, please. Not you, too. No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Oh, good. I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. Dylan said guides often make their own credentials. Is that true? No. Oh, that lying liar. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Nancy, don't. Be cautious. You're in the desert. Don't put anyone in a position where they feel like there's no other choice but to make you disappear. Dylan yeah. wouldn't do that. You want to bet your life on that? When people feel like they can get away with anything, they change. No Dylan kidding. mentioned that he was dropped off by a group of strange men who seemed to know their way to the site. The only people who know how to get to the site are you and me. And whoever Abdullah, Lily, and Jamila have told. <laughs> what do you know about Abdullah? Mm, he's almost as brilliant as he thinks he is. He seems a little full of himself. <laughs> a little? Mm -hmm. That amount of swag. That'd be putting it mildly. Sad. Do you think he's behind your attack? Uh, I don't think so. This isn't the first time we've butted heads. I think that if he were to attack me, he wouldn't sneak up from behind. How's the recovery coming? Good. I am at the point where watching television is tedious again, so that's a good sign. TV is very frustrating for the solution-oriented personality. I don't think I've heard that before. It's true. I find myself yelling, test your hypothesis before acting on it at all of the sitcoms. Truthfully, I'm still feeling a little woozy. As soon as I can stand without feeling dizzy, I am on my way back to the Tell him about the water tank. I have to sneak out of here. Sneak out of there? Is that really the smartest idea? There's nothing left. Don't panic. I'll see if I can get some drops. Until then, take it easy. Dehydration can set in quickly. Who would do that? Someone with a little water secreted away, I bet. I'll let you go. Bye. Oh, uh, want to call Professor Hotchkiss as well. Hotchkiss here? It's Nancy Drew. Oh, fancy dear. I'm so glad you called. I've been having the most infuriating... Why can't she remember Nancy's <laughs> name? This is Nancy Drew. Oh, you young people are so refreshing. Always in search of new ideas. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. But now I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the Weather Monkey keeps yelling the weather at me. Maybe you should uninstall it? I will do no such thing. That would be tantamount to murder. <sighs> Maybe turn it down? Brilliant and fantastic. Oh, yes, Samantha, you are a ticket. I would love to help you, but, but how do I know you again? Nancy, Drew, we've met a few times. Aha, now I remember you. If life were a good book, you'd be my favorite reoccurring character. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Egypt? Well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. You found my book while you were in Egypt. <gasps> the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand's mother in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. Oh, dear. I sign and send lots of things. Okay. Can you help me sort out some That'll talk jars? about the Horace's oh sons. Oh, oh, my, yes. Let's see. A human and three animals. A jackal was Duvomitan. Baboon, Hoppy, and Kebasenuel. 
Okay, so those are the names they of the. Uh, four cardinal points, each protecting a sacred organ. I seem to remember that Hoppy was the son. Okay, that's one of the clues I need to know about Horace's sons in relation to those four discs from the Canopic jars. Um, at the moment, I don't need to talk to her about anything else, I don't think, but I'll ask her about Nefertari. What Nefertari? You know about Nefertari? Ah, a love story. I'll break out the tissue papyrus because when I'm <laughs> done, there won't be a dry horse. Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> uh, what? Look it up, dear. Ramsey the second and Nefertari shared a love so vast, the world could scarcely contain it. I'm talking about the kind of love you spell capital L, capital O, half instead of a V, capital E. They stood side by side and ruled the world, but as they saw the years stretch out before them, they were keenly aware that a handful of decades would never cut it. But they needed to be together always. That's sweet. And relevant. The ancient Egyptians believed that life was little more than a dress rehearsal for eternity. I found records that they concocted a plan to be together forever, side by side. Why not be buried side by side? They foresaw a volatile future for their kingdom, and they were correct. They knew they would have to enact safeguards. That's why in 1904, when QV-66, the so-called tomb of Nefertari, was found, her body was not there. What are the chances we found Nefertari's tomb? If I were a gambling Hotchkiss, I'd say 60-40. Really? Well, I'll ask have her this you question heard of as well. the expedition that went off in search of Nefertari years ago? Oh, yes. The team in which everyone died, is that the one? Yes. Do you think that story is true? Oh, heavens, yes. It's deadly out there in the desert. Think about it. You're going out there in search of dead bodies. There must be a reason they're in favor of the area. But this expedition wasn't searching for QB-66, right? Indeed not. That had already been discovered. They were searching for Nefertari's mummy. What do you think happened to them? Oh, it's best huh, let me ask her about, about that this. Now. Why build a fake tomb? I still don't get all this business with QB-66. Why build a fake tomb? For the same reason, I never carry my passport in my purse when I travel. Some things are too valuable to leave in a tempting place. Okay. I'll let you go. Hotchkiss out! Alright, um, now I'll go back into the tomb. Hey, there's the red scarab piece. Now I can use it on that part with all the, that spot with all the other scarabs. Okay, it's right here. Uh, maybe the color has something to do with the solution. It does indeed, but I have to be careful to make sure I place them at the right moment. Yeah, just put them in the right colors and it'll oh, something will happen. All right. Um This is the reset button if you want to reset it and make it upon making mistake a mistake. Okay, there we go. Hey! I should look around for a clue to solve this. Okay, this is where all these discs go, but how do I know which ones? Well... I get lost in this tomb easily. This is the clue to that. Yeah, so these translated messages you'll find throughout the game, they're often clues to a uh, puzzle within the same place as they are. All right. So, 
from what I read about them in the Relics book and uh, I'm not sure if uh, yeah um, from the Relics book and what Hotchkiss said um, okay so yeah from those two sources I know who is who but where they go well, from that clue, I am the air that sweeps up the Nile. That would be um, this one, the baboon, because it represented lungs. Um, yeah, the... Hoppy, the baboon, represented lungs, as Hotchkiss said, so he goes here, yeah, in reference, uh, the air that sweeps up the Nile. Now, what exactly does it do? You'll see. Um, the cry that soars towards the setting sun, that has to be the... the... the, the falcon. Kaban Nesenef. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's... I don't understand all these Egyptian words. So, because the sun sets in the west, so you put it in the left side here. Um, the hunter who faces to greet the new day. The jackal, which is... Do Dua Matov goes here in the right because the sun rises in the east. Yeah, sun rises, rises in the east, set in the west. That's one thing to remember. So then this one, who is the human uh, sun, uh, uh, Im Seti, protector of the south. So yeah, it goes here. But look now, now they've changed like uh um that you can turn them. Whoa! What just happened? I should see if I broke something. Yes. Wait, it looks like these are this is a picture of columns here. Did I move columns? Is it my imagination yep. or did the columns move? Well, yes, they moved. There's another oh, door up there. I need to find a way to climb up to that ledge. Well, that's what I can do this, You use that for. So I have to I'll, uh, move these accordingly so that they can rise from low to high so that I can get up to that door. To do that, I have to turn that that way, that one that way, and then that one that way, and Nancy will say, Got it got it when it's correct. So, I'm going to go back and uh, she hops across. Not a smart move, but don't worry, you don't die from doing this. Hey, are these hieroglyphs up here? See what there is to see here. Uh, I know there is a second exit. There's a second exit around here. Ooh. This looks important. Yep. That puzzle on the tomb that has those um, six places of arranging the gods. This is the solution. You put them in the order there for. You put jackal. The top row, jackal. Yeah, the procession of gods begins the reveal. Seek them out under the protection of the heavens. Uh, jackal, um, ibis, ibis, falcon, then beetle, crocodile, and lion. So I think I'll go ahead and do that puzzle now. Whoa, what's going on here? You have no idea what you are doing! Whoa, you have no idea what you are doing! 
I'm sorry, I didn't know. How? You didn't know. Ignorance is not an excuse. It is the problem. You are off the site. Please, I will never even come near your work again. That is right. You don't deserve to be here. Half the thing to ask me. I'll help. I promise. Please, I'll do anything to stay. When the transport comes, you get on it. You are taking up space that a good student could be using. I want nothing to do with you. Jeepers. I think I'll find out what's going on and wait to do the puzzle now. Well, ask him what that, what that was all Are about. Are talking about the columns? I knew there was something about this site that didn't add up. This is unheard of. The technology required to move the columns. Maybe aliens were involved. Very cute. Why? So why were you so why hard you on her? So hard on Lily. It sounds so cruel, right? I am not her friend. I am her proving ground. If she survives me, no one will ever stop her. Not ever. If she does not, then she does not have what it takes to begin with. May you be so lucky as to have a mentor who pushes you. Still, you could be nicer. I learned to swim fast, not because I was taught well, but because there were crocodiles wow. in the arena. Bye. See you later. Now I'll talk to Lily about that. Nancy, things are moving. I heard the pillars moving. This place is seriously messed up. I noticed that, but I don't think we're in any danger. And you're basing this on what? Previous experience? Call it a hunch. Call it a hunch. At this point, I'd rather call it a day. I need to calm down. This is a huge opportunity and probably not a death trap. Right? Right. Right. Do you think this really is Nebertari's tomb? I really hope so. Why isn't she in the tomb in the Valley of the Queens? But there could be a lot of reasons. The worst case is grave robbers, but we really don't think that's the case. Why not? Because her valuables were found, but her body wasn't. Doesn't make sense. We think she was hidden. Ramses II was known to be very protective, and was very concerned about the afterlife. It's possible Ramses built a false tomb to make sure she'd be undisturbed. There are many stories of his love for her, but we don't know how true they are. If he went through so much trouble, don't you feel strange about disturbing her tomb? No. Someone will do it eventually. If we get there first, she'll be treated with respect, and she'll truly get to live on forever. If someone else finds her, she'll go to the highest bidder. If you're so interested in Nefertari, why aren't you below? Promise you won't make fun of me? Fine. Sure. I'm a woman of science, okay? But the curse thing rattled me. I need to do research now anyway. I'd prefer to do it when nothing will fall on me and maybe get a little face time with a certain British someone. I have to admit, I overheard that argument between you and Abdullah. Are you okay? You did? What did you hear? I'm not sure, really. It just sounded pretty bad. It was. He can be rough to work with, but he's the best. I just have to get better and not make such stupid mistakes all the time. Is there anything I can do? Yes, I need your help sorting amulets. This has always been the thing I've been worst at. Please say you'll help. I'll help you out whenever you need it, I promise. Yeah, fine, sure we have to anyway. Great, thanks. They need to be sorted by what they represent and by what power they had. They're on the table in the other tent. All right. That's what this relic book is for. Anything more I can say to Dylan? Hello. Do you really think this is Nefertari's tomb? It better be. Otherwise, I'm very lost. What does that mean? She's why I'm here. As a tour guide, I love the sites that tell a story. And Ramses I and Nefertari have the making of a classic love story, if we can find her here. You mean Ramses the second, right? I do. I mean, yes, I, I, I do. Of course. Strange life being a king. You get everything but your own name. What brought you to this site? Well, this might be the next it spot. If it is, I want to have the first tour up and running. Isn't that a little premature? Tour groups might not even be allowed out here. Well, then I took a trip to the place I've always wanted to see. No loss. You seem very casual about everything. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? It makes me think you might be hiding something. 
If I'm hiding something, then I'm doing such a good job, even I don't notice. I know you didn't just come here to get a tan. Bye-bye. Hurry back now. Okay. Okay. Amulets are right here. I need to sort these amulets by type. Okay. Looking at the relic book, it'll tell you um, where they go. And red star kind of processed by elimination. So golden fly for military achievements, fish for good luck, uh, funerary amulets uh, play a role in burying the dead. Um, here are other ones uh, for some examples because, yes, these appear. Am monkey was a love charm, amethyst monkey, uh, felsberg hedgehog, rebirth, uh, basalt baboon, wisdom, uh, scarab, uh, a scarab and body powers, most notably rebirth. Um, regular animals not attached to a god held their own powers. Hair, uh, symbolized regeneration, regenerate powers in animals like the hippo, uh, the lizard with its ability to grow lost tail, and be, be frogs. Um, okay, so that's the clue for those. Uh, like, here's the monkey for wisdom. Fish for good luck. And all, here are all animals uh, that represent regeneration. The hippo, the salamander, the hare, the frog, uh, rebirth, uh, the hedgehog, and the scarab. Um, food offering. Uh, health is these... Motherhood, that's uh, the cow. Uh, the monkey, love. And these two are military val valor. Oh, one. one's missing. I better check that out. I wonder what it was. Hey, what the heck is this? Fully investigate this area. Yes. Is there anything else that's been sabotaged? It looks like <gasps> someone was tampering with these wires. Is that why it's short-circuited? Who's tampering with the site here? Okay, to investigate that tear, I had to turn that way. If you something out of the tent without anyone seeing you, this would be the perfect spot to do it. If I had the right tool, I bet I could see if the thief left anything behind. Okay, that's what this shovel's for. But what I'm looking for, it's always going to be random. So I'll just dig everywhere I can dig. Seriously? It's not like that finding that old necklace in uh, the Captive Curse where it's always in one place. Oh. Hmm. Oh. What's this? So the jackal amulet was taken. Okay. Well, now I'm going to go down into the tunnel and do that puzzle with the 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 gods. Okay, so... Oh, Must be locked. Well, maybe this will unlock it. Okay. Seek them out under the protection of the heavens. Oh, so maybe why it was up in that door. It's high up, maybe as a reference to up the into the heavens. Okay, so as I said, it's gotta be Jackal, Ibis, and Falcon up here. And beetle, crocodile, and lion down here. But this is a bit tricky because I have to move these, uh, and so that they mat, that there will be the animals in the right place. Okay, that's good. Now I've got to find, uh, ibis and crocodile. Crocodile. See if I can find them. Oh.
No. Um, oh, maybe this will work. Okay. All right, lastly, Falcon and Lion. Lion, Lion. Right. Another tomb. Another coffin, and it's locked. Ancient Egyptians did not mess around. All right. Let's see what this says. Um. Seven treasures of her making. Uh, her children. This could be about the queen's children. Is that what this is? Children. Maybe if I knew more about them, I could open this. Okay, I'll call Professor Hotchkiss about solving this. Um, but to also, it's not just I have to know their names, but to work the them out once I do, I have to. Uh, yeah, look at this. The Pantheon and the Hieroglyph books. Oh, so. Well, the one in uh, Nancy's bunk. Okay, so this is um, uh, telling me all the translated uh, ones that I've translated, those long messages. Okay, go out here and call her. Ask her about Nefertari's children. Do you know anything about Nefertari's children? Of course I do. Can you tell me their names? Yes. Best we start with the boys. Sure. There's among her Kepshef. Meaning among is with strong R. How do I spell that? Oh, dear. Oh, John's notes are also the, re the reference that I need. Like From Hotchkiss, John's time. notes, and the Pantheon oh, that hey, Dylan gave me. Mary, beloved of Ray. Mary Autumn, beloved of Autumn. Oh, these names. The best part about ancient Egyptian names is that there are no ancient Egyptians around to correct your pronunciation. Oh, I come back when you're ready for the girls. I'm ready for their names. Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's daughters? I need you to do some searching for me. I've decided to restart my book project. Can you gather some information for me? If it means you'll tell me the daughter's names, then sure. I know Christ. the answer. Who is above all the doors in the main antechamber? This one. Mott. Thank you. Okay. Um. Ready for their I'm names. I'm ready for the daughter's names now. Merit Amen, the beloved of Amen. Got it. Hanatawi, the mistress of two lands. Okay. Nebatawi, the lady of two lands. So it seems favoritism isn't a modern invention. And the children were mentioned in order, from oldest to youngest, right? Yes. Perfect. Thanks. Bye-bye. Goodbye. All right.
yeah, so this does help a little as a reference. At least knowing what the symbols look like. But the main reference is to answer, to f figure out that puzzle in the tomb. It's from John's Notes and Hotchkiss and the Pantheon. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Time to use what I've learned about Nefertari's children and hieroglyphs to figure out the order. All right, um, I'll do them from here all the way to here, but it's difficult for me to explain what each symbol means. I still don't understand, but I can tell you that um, the boys are here, the girls are here, and so that's these symbol. These this symbol means boy, so it has to be put at the end. Well, this is the girl symbol. And that has to go at the end there. So I will at least point those out and put them in the right place for now. Um, okay. Okay. All right. This must be among her Kepler shaft. Okay, Nancy will say when I'm right and uh, when I got it right and who the, the the name of the child. She can say it better than I can. You must be Mario. Okay. Um. This is Mariatum. This must be Merit Amma. Okay. Hanutawi. And here we go. And this must be Nebatawi. Yeah, she rem remembers the names better than I do. So. It's empty. <laughs> Wait. What are those? <laughs> Look, a phone charm. Oh my god. I need to piece these together. And yet I'll have to translate them too. Darn it. Uh. Okay. Got it. All right. Now to figure out what this says. Okay.
another tomb in here. I need to figure out how to open it. Okay, well, now that I've done all I can around in here for the time being, I want to... I want to look for the blue cat that opens the tomb. And I think I know where to find it. Tunnel 1 doesn't, doesn't seem to have much activity. It's a blue there cat. it is. Just like in Jamila's notes. I need to clear this stuff away from it. Well, I'll Almost brush it away. Clear. All clear. It looks like something is supposed to be placed. And I know exactly what. The cat amulet. <laughs> I've got this. Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Well, is it a really smart idea for you to go? Blast. It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Pass me a torch, would you? Never mind. I've got something here. <gasps> Oh no. Ah! Are you okay? Could you just shift it a bit so you can get the pressure off? If I can remove okay, some of the so pressure, this is a puzzle. You have to move, time. remove certain rocks, so, and you have to do it without, otherwise, Dylan colla it collapses and Dylan will die. But you have to. Uh, I figured out an order at which to pull the rocks. Yes, if you keep doing things like that, I won't die. If I can remove five more of these rocks, you should be okay. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's better. Yeah. Oh, that's Okay, it. and that's then better. this one, I think. Yep. That should hold. Stay still. I'm going to find you some Yeah, if you pull the okay. wrong rocks out, it'll fine. collapse and he'll die. Oh, never mind. Everything's a problem. Oh, my Call Lord. Call hospital. Ay, ay, ay. It took the rescue team a while to get through the collapse, but they finally got Dylan out. He looked pretty bad. I hope he's going to be okay. I'm sure he will be, and there's nothing you can do about it. I know, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Nancy, you don't need to stay. I can make some calls to Kingston. We can get you out of there if you're worried. No, I'm fine. No. Think it over. Well, I know I, I have to go back to that tunnel. Not. Uh, and as much as I care about keeping this site safe, it's not worth putting you in danger. I'll be fine, I promise. Okay. If you change your mind, call me immediately. I think I found evidence of an old expedition here. It seems like an old diary entry. To keep that safe. There are records of an expedition leaving England in search of Nefertari's tomb. This was after she wasn't found in QV-66. Her supposed tomb that was found in the early 1900s. But if they were here, then this must not be the place, right? Mm, not necessarily. No one knows what happened to the expedition. The whole expedition disappeared? Did that happen often? Uh, more often than you'd expect. Archaeology is deadly work. Would it be possible to trigger a cave-in, like the one that injured Dylan? Yes, easily. I wouldn't recommend it. Too much of that, and you'll bring down the whole tomb. You don't suppose you Nancy was a target? I got to thinking. I was on my way into that tomb first. Dylan pushed me out of the way at the last second. What if the collapse was intentional, and I was the target? It's... it's possible. I opened the last coffin, but it was empty. I'm not surprised. I was? Does this mean we're too late? No. The entire tomb is a riddle. If the mummy was easy to find, then I'd start to worry we were at the wrong place. How real is the black market? For trafficking antiquity? Very real. Do you think there's a chance that someone here is involved in the black market? There's no reason to think that. Yes, there is. Those men are... they're dangerous. If they are involved, I don't even want to think about it. Do you have any connections on the black market? Of course not. I didn't mean to offend. I just wish we could find out if they're interested in this site. 
If they are, all of the accidents would make more sense. I'd better get going. Catch you later. Okay, Dylan's out, but I can't call him, which I will in a bit. I want to talk to everyone else. Done? Not yet. I hope he's okay. Can you see if you can find out how he's doing for me? You said you studied curses. Aren't they just mostly hoaxes? No, far from it. There's always a scientific reason for what really happened. But if you get some deadly disease or the world collapses on you, you're not going to care about the biology or physics of what's killing you. What do you think of Jamila? When she talks yeah, I haven't talked to Jamila for a while. For I want to talk to her huh? about uh, how a be that nuts. piece of the plastic spaceship from her bag punctured the crazy. water tank. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? I'm nowhere near as harsh as she is crazy. You could take that to the bank. The crazy bank. Okay. Wait a second. I didn't even... Do you actually agree with her about aliens? Well, crazier things have happened. Well, I say no, but so I'll have Nancy say crazier I'll things happen. And hide the sharp things. I don't know why Abdullah doesn't just kick her out. What do you think about Dylan? Did we accidentally invite the whole world to this dig? With the exception of a decent work crew, that is. Although I do hate that I don't know why he is here, he is definitely easy on the eyes. Yeah, I guess. Agreed. But if he stays out in the sun any longer, he's going to get all lobstery. Definite turnoff for us land dwellers. Abdullah seems really harsh. That's just how he is. I knew what I was setting myself up for when I came here. Do you know what caused the cave-in that got Dylan? The curse! No, oh, I mean what really caused it. Call it what you want. This is the Carter expedition all over again. You know what happened to them? A series of unrelated accidents resulting from subpar medical practices? No. When the expedition ended, they started to drop like cursed flies. Madness. Diseases. Strange accidents. The worst part of this curse is that I don't know if we'll ever really be in the clear. Are you okay? You seem pretty worried. I had a dream. Nefertari was in my dream. Sounds spooky. It was. What happened? She told me that it was too late. Too late? For what? Too late for us to leave. My phone doesn't work. All I want is to call my family and my stupid phone doesn't work. Oh, we're going to be fine. No, we're not. Leave me alone, okay? Oh, I thought she would drop the conversation. I'm not going to say Goodbye. Abdullah needs Later. you just yet. What? Did they even come Holy from? smokes. All these locusts. Anything for me to see in here yet? Hey, what's going on here? Why would the coffin be empty? The ancients were not above playing tricks on us. Do thefts happen often on sites like this? On most sites, yes. On my sites, no one steals. Twenty years, and not a single theft. Is there a market for stolen artifacts? Yes, a booming market. A musician has his picture taken standing next to a sarcophagus, and the black market comes pounding on my door, begging me for supply. What do you do? I send them away. Of course I send them away. I'm surprised you lack the tact to even ask. Well, I'm a curious person. I find that tact often gets in the way of truly getting to know someone. You remind me of my ex-wife. I divorced her for being tactless. That's not exactly a nice thing to say. I'm a complex person. I find that niceties often get in the I way. I think you're more than a complex person if you think so. Highly of yourself. Be someone trying to cause a distraction. Or like an ego so maniac. The place? Could be. Wouldn't it be easy to get caught selling one of a kind artifacts? You think thieves are smart? They are not. If they were, they steal big. Steal small, you are a crook. Steal big, you are an explorer or a pharaoh. 
I better get going. Bye. All right. Um, I'll go back to the tunnel. Uh, but before I do, uh, actually, I want to find Jamila. Hello. How well do you know Lily? I like Lily. Yeah, I have lots She's not to. A friend to the cause. But friend I to the cause. That. Friend to the cause. You know, rolling out the red carpet for our celestial others. Oh, that. I've been trying to teach her about the true purpose of the hidden tombs, but she's not receptive. Earlier, you said true purpose of the tombs. What did you mean? The Anunnaki had much to teach us. Too much. They hid the secrets on Earth. And when we master all these lessons, they will return to the temples and they will take the most enlightened among us with them. What will happen to everyone else? For those who do not pass the test, there will be war and famine. The Earth's rage will overcome them and they will fall. The blue light of the Earth will go dim in the night sky. That is bleak. I know, yeah, right? That it is. That is why I tried to get Lily to embrace the Anunnaki. She does not care. If the water tank was destroyed using the discs from your bag. If the discs were used, it wasn't me who used them. Maybe it was the Anunnaki. Everyone here seems to be hiding something. Oh, like very good, here. Nancy. Very easier. good. This is an exciting very good. Sight. Who wouldn't want to be here? Please. The same could be said of anywhere. Dylan has been lying to you. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth. I thought the same thing, but I was wrong too. Dylan knew that Abdullah was an active member of the Antiquities Black Market. He wanted in. That doesn't make sense. It does. The reason you couldn't tell he was lying is because he just wasn't telling you the whole truth. He did come here to become a more competitive tour guide, just not in the obvious way. If he could provide tourists with one-of-a-kind antiquities, his business would triple overnight. I never really believed him. I did. Never trust the cute ones. They uh. know what they can get away with. Are you interested in archaeology? No. Then why do you have an archaeology textbook? You looked in my bag? Well, I couldn't help but see. I am not angry. The Anunnaki value curiosity. You will not understand what you find, anyway. You didn't answer my question. Why should I bother if you're so good at sneaking around? Point Why taken. do you have so many cameras? These are momentous times. When the Anunnaki Okay, returns, I don't have anything. I don't have a reason to search in her bag, so Why I'm not going to ask her, tell her this. I better get going. Want to go I to the... the tunnel the other tunnel okay whoa cats lined up here it's too dark i need to find something to light the way well that's why i have the oil I need to find a way to light this lamp and the lighter and I it looks like a way to light this entire room okay that's what these are for uh, are they mirrors or something i guess all right. Okay. All right. There we go. Let there be light. Hey, what's this? It looks like some birds are missing. So that's where those tiles go, and I'm missing one. Um, let's see. Can I use the hieroglyph dictionary anywhere here? And over here. Okay, uh... Is that a comb or something? Okay, I can't pick them up and put them in my inventory. And I can't go to the other side here. I can only go forward. Um... Hey, that looks like where that uh, that looks like it goes in that indentation in the two in the one tomb where I've been uh, translating all those messages. At uh, what the? Hey, sounded like something opened. Well, that's what I thought. Okay. uh...
A threshold to a hidden area, perhaps? Oh, so that's... that. Maybe that'll open up something. I need to find the one that All right, less. yeah, so I gotta find the mouse that weighs less and this is always going to be random but I'll show you first how to do it you have three attempts here to find the um, the lightest so what I'm going to do is put evenly divide three mice here if uh, one plate is lighter than the other that means the lightest mouse is on there so first let me do it like this oops uh, I forget that I have to push that button That'll just reset it. Okay, so the lightest mouse is right here. I'm gonna put these over here. So, yeah, what you want to do is evenly divide the mice, at least three here, because you have nine in total. So I, I don't need the rest here. But the lightest mouse is right here, so I will remove these three put them down here and I'll put one in each side to weigh it okay they're even so that means this mouse is the lightest of them all so that's how you measure uh, which mouse is the lightest among the all nine given here I guess if this was master sooth there might be more and it would be more difficult but then you put it in here. All right. Disconnect. <laughs> it must be the cat's name. Uh, so, uh, well, I can't take it with me, but I spell out the name somewhere. Those, uh, in that e order of hieroglyphs, from this one up here to this one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, that sounded like it opened, but maybe doing something up here with all three have when I have all three, three re uh, remaining tiles up there in sequence. And let me take this to the other tunnel. Okay, so I put it right here. And what it does is, okay, okay, so this is, uh, the answer to this is the, in the translated torn papyrus, um, on the wings of rebirth from a treasured companion, the path is open around a circle, they slide, uh, begin from gold to honor, uh, etc. So, that means, uh, so the snakes have to be in the order from, like, gold to amethyst, uh, green, blue, and red, uh, in that sequence, so, um, first, to get them in that order, I'm gonna, uh, All right, cobras. Let's slide the green cobra the there, process. then yellow, purple, blue, Red. Hey, that sliding sound effect. That sounds like um, uh, sliding of the pieces in the fox and geese game in White Wolf of Icicle Creek. All right. Blue. Red. Yellow. Green. Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. Hey. Is this the real tomb? Lies in, I know what that word is, destiny. That's nice and cryptic.
Okay. The path lies in destiny. To get over there, though, this is a fatal puzzle. Really is this is path. a fatal puzzle. Um, so I'm not going to do it yet. First, I do have the answer, but I want to show to interpret it. Call Professor Hotchkiss. Oh, in fact, uh, after I talk to her, I'm going to call Dylan. Um, I need your help with a riddle. I need That's your the help with a riddle. I thought you'd never ask to do your worst. The path lies in destiny. That is not an easy one. I do recall hearing that Nefertari's cat's name meant destiny. That could be a good place to start. Ah, so I have to spell out uh, the name of her cat according to that image. Uh, Meskinet, which means destiny. All right. Bye-bye. Can you gather some information for me? Yeah. Sure. Great. What bird does the cat have in its paws in the mural? I'll go look. All right. I'll call you back when I find out. I know the answer, Bye. but since I can't give it to her, I'll have to call her back. I just want to get that over. But first, I'll call Dylan, then call her back. Oh. Oh. Dylan? Is that you? Uh, are you okay? No. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too badly hurt. I'm in traction. That's pretty bad, by the way. I can imagine. Traction is bad. Just a little FYI, courtesy of me. You sound a bit scrambled. A truckload of rocks would do that. Amazing fact, courtesy of Dylan. Should I let you sleep? No, no. They think I'll die if I fall asleep. Aye, aye. No, I can't. Oh, well, don't do that. It is impressive how much your body dislikes having a few tons of stone dropped on top of it. No Listen, kidding. I'm very fortunate that I called you. Actually, I called you. Mm, no, I, I don't think so. Maybe your phone is backwards. Listen, I need to tell you something very important. Okay. When I was lying there under all that stone, I heard a voice. A woman's voice. What was it saying? Something in an old language I've never heard before. Something ancient and creepy. That tomb is cursed. I'm sure of it. Are you sure it wasn't just something you imagined? I know I'm all turned around, but I know what I heard. Even if they would let me sleep, I couldn't. Every time I close my eyes, I hear it. You need to leave. I need you to try to remember. Is there anything else at the side that seemed strange? I don't know if my memory could be tracked right now. But I do remember something strange about Jamila and that weird bag of hers. Strange? How? One second, it would be empty, and then she'd reach down into it and pull something out. It was like a really bad magic trick. The jackal amulet is missing. Did you have anything to do with that? No, I didn't. I wouldn't even want to touch one of those creepy things. Lily wanted to say hello. Oh, good. Tell her I say, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm knackered. Make it sound good. What have you been up to? Lily had me help her with some amulets she couldn't identify. Apparently, I'm pretty good at it. What do you mean, she couldn't identify? They were pretty beat up. She said that that type of thing wasn't her forte anyway. So, I helped. Well, that's not true. Huh? Well, that's her specialty. She lied to you. Well, why would she do that? Maybe she wanted to distract you. Maybe she was feeling lazy. Why should I trust you? I don't exactly have a lot to gain from lying to you at this point. All right, why don't All you right, fess if you up? If you want me to believe you, tell me why you were at the site. I really am a guide. That can't be it. It is. Look, maybe I wanted to get my name in the papers, but that's it. Times are really tough. People aren't taking vacations like they used to. See ya. Bye. Okay, uh, call Hotchkiss, Hotchkiss back with the answer I have, and then I'll... Call, I want to call John again. Ahoy, ahoy. 
I figured out what that cat has in his paws in the mural. Great! A hoopoo. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi. Jamila claims that she's here for the aliens, but she has an archaeology book with her, and she appears to be pretty interested in the site. Could be a coincidence, or she could be lying to you about why she's there. I wish there was a way to find out for sure which it is. Same here. The best bet is to keep a close eye on her. Frankly, if she's not an alien believer, then I want her at the site even less. Why's that? If she's lying about why she's there, that's trouble. What do you know about cats in ancient Egypt? Did you find something with a lot of cats? Yes, it's some sort of cat tomb. Did we come all the way out here for a cat mummy? No, no, Nancy, this is fantastic news. Uh, don't get too excited, but this might be just the thing we're looking for. Cats were sacred to the ancient Egyptians. From Bastet and Sekhmet to the average house cat, they were absolutely revered. If you found Nefertari's cat, she must be here. Bye. Catch you later. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the tunnel. Okay, so yeah, Path Lies in Destiny, because that, uh, that's the, the name of, uh, Nefertari's cat in English, Meskinat. So, using that image from the drawer in the, that one tunnel, um, I have to spell it out, but you have to make sure you do it right, otherwise it's a fatal move. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's the last missing tile. Oh, now it's opening. Wow. Is this Nefertari's tomb? These look just like the symbols from Lily's game. I should talk to her about it. Yes, I will. So, let me go through this tunnel. All right, let's see what this says. Can't open it. Hey, Locked. is this the se the second exit or secret exit as those notes said? Yeah. In fact, I, I need to look at these, yeah. my hand here. All right, hand back to the main tunnel. This must be the bird mural that was mentioned in the journal. Yes, this is the solution to that um, puzzle up in the, the cat tomb with those tiles. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and work on that. All the birds are here. I must need to press them in a certain way. I need to figure out what it is. Yeah. This is the page that's uh, a clue. The clue. 
All right, so. I don't know the names of all the birds, unfortunately, but um, the order is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so yeah, that opens this another secret tunnel. What the? Are there footprints here? Someone else has been down in these tunnels recently. Hey, this is a match to Lily's sunglasses. She's been down she here. Sneaking around so that the had the that's the missing uh item, missing little uh decoration on her sunglasses. This looks important. Hey, that part of this is missing. Could this be the combination to her uh trunk? Just need the top half. All right, go this way again. Okay, um... There's his key. But to get it, I have to get him to leave. I found a gold coffin. It could be Nefertari. I will see this. All right. Hey. Uh oh. I know that sounded that like sound. a snake. I need to figure out where it's coming from. Wait a minute, there's cobra. Oh, deadly king cobra. Oh, um yeah, here's the way to get rid of it. Take this grab it with the stick and put it in this trash bin. But kids, don't try this at home. Please. Do not attempt. As it would say in an ad. Alright. I can't believe that actually worked. Neither can I. I'd better find a safe place to keep the cobra before I do anything else. This will keep the cobra safe and out of striking distance. Okay, uh, Lily's not here, so, um, I'll, uh, quickly look. In Abdul's trunk. Abdullah's trunk. This? I knew something didn't seem right. All right, I think that's all there is to see. believe in any of this alien stuff, do you? Of course I do. What's gotten into you, Nancy? I've seen Sonny's letter. He says you've never taken one of his classes. How do you explain that? Fine. You've made your point. What do you want from me? The truth for a change. I guess the truth is mine to tell and yours to find out. So who are you here for? Abdullah or Nefertari? Who says I'm here for either? Common sense. You're an interesting one, Nancy. You didn't answer my question. If you ever want to hear my answer, we'll need to reach an agreement. Fine. What kind of agreement? You don't speak a word of this to anyone here. Sure. The time is not right. Wait. So you don't actually believe in aliens? So you don't actually believe in aliens? Right. Except... Except what? Funny. He really is special. What do you mean? How so? I can't be the one to tell you. If you ever need to know, he'll find you. I'll catch you later. Until later. Let's see if Lily's returned yet. Okay. Hello. There was a cobra on my bed. That is crazy. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Is it still in there? No, I took care of it. But well, I'm never getting any sleep tonight. I imagine you aren't either. I take it you're not a fan of snakes. 
No one on earth is a fan of snakes. If it lives on dry land and does not have feet, it should not exist. Even thinking about snakes gives me the creeps. What happened when you were in school? What do you mean? You were involved in cheating or something like that. I'm not going to talk about it with you. It was blown out of proportion. Abdullah's been pretty understanding to look past those accusations. You could say that. Why did you say it that way? Don't worry about it. I found a gold coffin. We might really be on our way to finding Nefertari. I can't believe it's really her. The lost queen. And we found her. Do you have any idea what this means? She'll need a new nickname? Very funny. But I do suppose you're right. What do you think about the returned queen? I should write that down. Nancy, this, you and me, we're going to be in the history books. I look forward to being mentioned in many sixth grade essays. True. But Nancy, you need to realize that this is important. How many people actually get to be part of something important? I discovered a new part of the tomb. You need to make sure Abdullah knows. Everything you find needs to go through him. I found a rhinestone in a hidden tunnel. So? That could mean anything. You're the only one who Okay, I'll ask her about the symbols on the Senate board. There. It doesn't mean anything. Leave it alone. Uh -huh. Can you tell me what the symbols on the Senate board mean? The special squares are the House of Rebirth, the House of Happiness, the House of Three Truths, and the House of Ray Atom. That represents the House of Water. What's the House of Water? In the desert, water is very important, obviously. But when the desert is creeping in, stripping away all of the grazing lands, the house of water became a powerful idea. It was the element the ancient Egyptians revered and were terrified of offending. I'll catch you later. See ya. been accused of falsifying her work. Why would Abdullah choose her to come along with him? I have no clue. Do you think it's possible that Abdullah just wanted to give her a second chance? Maybe. He could see something in her that I don't. You don't think that's true? Nancy, I don't want you to carry my bias. Keep a keen eye on her and everyone and everything at the site, for that matter. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. I think I found a new area of the tomb near the main entrance. You did? Okay, I gotta look in her bag again because there's a false bottom here. What is this? What is Jamila actually up to? Yes, this is the question I've been waiting to ask him. Have you heard of the daughters of Nefertari? Yes, but I'm surprised that you have. That's why I called what him earlier, mean? but apparently I had to that see that paper, that article about that. Abdullah to ask him this. But I like was that. glad to have something to talk to him about Lily with Lily right apparently speak. falsifying her I'm work. I'm going to get there as soon as I can. You still didn't answer my question. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Supposedly, they're searching for Nefertari, too. But that's all I know. I wasn't even sure if they were real. See ya. Catch you later.
can say hi. Who are the daughters of Nefertari? What are you talking about? You're one of them, aren't you? There's no such thing. That symbol. Yeah, I was just back. trying to do something it's to wait for Jamila to come back itself. so I could talk to her about Watch all this. Yourself, Nancy. Why don't you just tell me? I'm gonna figure it out anyway. Shh. You are lucky you are dealing with me and not my mother. Okay. Okay. Why? Because only the daughters of Nefertari can know our mission and live. But your mother was a member? Every firstborn daughter leading back to the 19th dynasty has been a servant of Ramses II. First you say you're here for the Anunnaki. Now you want me to believe this? I could not care less what you believe. I only care that you stay out of my way. Why? What are you going to do? When we find her, I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramses' side, to her rightful throne. You have two choices now. You'll be one of us, or you will force my hand to do something I don't want to do. What are you implying? All I want, Nancy, is to return her to where she belongs. What is this strange symbol on your bag? What are you talking about? It's all over. I've seen it on the walls. It's nothing. Oh, it's... When they say it's nothing, it's never nothing. You're here because of Abdullah, aren't you? In part. I don't like him. Why? Because he's on the take. And he stages. Stages? He dumps things he has into a site to make it more exciting. That's a big accusation. I have more proof than I need. You really seem to hate Abdullah. Why? Egypt is not for sale. Not anymore. The land has been plagued by men like him. But they're tearing out the soul of this country out of greed. And they do not care what they lose along the way. I need to know right now why you're here. I have the authority to have you removed unless you tell me immediately. You do you not. You don't. You want to try me? Fine, Nancy. I'm here to see that Nefertari is returned to where she belongs. Why? Because it is my destiny to do this. Or to die trying. There is very old magic at work here. And I do not care what you believe. It is true. Ramses II. He knew the temples would be plundered by men like Abdullah. He knew the land would suffer tyrants. That she would be at risk. He had to know that his greatest love would survive all of this. He had her hidden and called upon our bloodline. Every daughter in my family must seek Nefertari. And so only that's why she's right here. Be able to find her. Then what? When she's returned to her rightful place. And we are relieved of our duty. When I was young, my mother died. I was told she'd been in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When I came of age, a letter came. My mother wrote it before I was born. She knew the search for Nefertari would probably kill her. That she was bound by fate. As am I. One day, I will have a daughter. And she will never receive such a letter. The search ends with me. Not Abdullah. Do you really believe all of that? Yes. But why the fake aliens? Abdullah told the press he thinks alien followers are stupid. Stupid people are no threat to him. So you hid in plain, plain sight. sight. Exactly. Here, take this. This is from Lily. Hey, it's the it? top half yes. for the combination to her trunk. Now I can get in there. <laughs> okay, good. This She's not here. Let's see All if right. I can open it now. All right, so three that way. If you remember, like, the, uh, in the booklet explaining the patterns of how they should look. It has to be, like, in a straight, fine line or a, uh, a cube, like, here. Um. Okay, so. All right. Hey, that's the bottom of half of John's notes. What? Why would, she... Why would Lily have this? <gasps> did did she put the snake there? Oh my goodness! Wait, that sounds like <gasps> sand blowing in. Take shelter in the tube. This storm is intense. It's hurry. Okay. Now I'm safe for the moment. All right, now I'll go back to the coffin. Uh, 
Okay, so based on the symbols, what Lily told Nancy, um, John's, uh, all right, rebirth precedes happiness. The three truths follow the light of Ray Atum. Water flows at the end, happiness before Ray Atum. So that's the answer to this puzzle. Um, if you remember what Lily said, Ankh is rebirth, and that's one. If I combine what Lily said with John's notes, I should be able to figure this out. All right, so Ankh, that's one. Falcon is House of Happiness, and that's two. Uh, three dots is the House of Three Truths, but that is not, not next. Um, Eye of Horus is House of Rhea Tomb, and that's number three. Uh, this So the House of Three Truths, that's four, and then Water is last. Hurtari. It's gotta be. And just what do you think you're doing? May I ask what you're doing here, Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? This whole thing with the curse. It was you. No, it wasn't. Dylan is in the hospital because of you. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. Why? I can't say. I'm not going to say. What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do. Lily, look out! Yikes, ah. I came in. Ooh. Are you okay in there? I'm fine. Really? I'm fine. Well, I gotta find help. So... I'll go out this way, and I can think of only person I think who's gonna be able to help me. I gotta find Jamila. Nancy, what's the matter? What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. Yes, he did. I need to go did. get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take the signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. A key? Is there a second exit? Yes. And it goes to that locked gate. That's the second exit. I can't just leave Lily. As mentioned in that uh, page that I found in the door high up in the in the in the to in, down in the dig, dig site. Okay. Um, now I just gotta go through that s s secret way. Um, okay. Is it? here. Oh, another phone charm. So I got three in total from this game. Stuck! Yes. Oh, there must be a way I can make it to that door! That's what this sheet of paper is that Jamila gave Nancy. Okay, um... So what you do I is... To find the correct head. Yes. The he correct head is determined... Each of these paragraphs refer to those, the heads. Uh, so they arrive on, so the first one, they arrive on six feet or, or, or soaring wings with a howl or a bleat, the ancient reptile leading the way. So it's gotta be this, the crocodile. Or alligator. Alligator or crocodile? I thought it would be crocodile because uh, crocodiles roam the, the Nile River. Okay. And then this next one, um, underneath a blazing sun, the jackal joins the mix, mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. So that has to be the falcon. Yeah, and when you get him correct, the next ledge will pull out. I think if you get it incorrect, it'll go in and then go more inward and Nancy will fall. So this is a... Fatal puzzle. Okay. This circle, um, dressed in red, she is joined by the child as the evening dew appears in the cat's footprints they learn of knowledge. So it's gotta be, um, this 
cat. And this is how Nancy's getting across these ledges as they pull out. And so I got one more. All right, so drawn onward by the steadfast cow, a throne accompanied by hieroglyphs arrives before the balance of the mother. And so the mother is this woman, woman here with the sun disc. All right, now I can get across out this way. But there's a catch. Abdullah. Nancy, why do you look so frightened? The curse! It was you! Good. For once, I did not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this. No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You'll have to catch me first. All right, so I have to get from here to here. And starting with this, this is a pillar. So it each of this has four colors and a path will be formed. More pillars will pop up uh, when similar colors of the post of uh, face each other. So I've got to turn this this way so it'll face blue. The floor when the colors match. Yeah, they'll come up when the colors match. More platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. All right. Um, I'll turn this so it's yellow. And look, I only have a, I only have a certain number of turns to make before he can get to Nancy. So I'm gonna then choose this one. Uh, uh, instead of clockwise, though, I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise so that the blue will match up. And then this, yeah, this is the only one that has to be turned counterclockwise. All right, I'm gonna turn, out of all the ones I'm gonna pick, I mean, uh, this one I only turn counterclockwise. The rest that I pick to get out uh, will be clockwise. So then this, okay. And then turning this way, I should be able to get out, or Nancy should. She's out. Leaving so soon. Uh-oh. No, you don't. <sighs> That's that. Now, come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived. At okay, a so to Nancy still Johnson writes a letter to someone at the end of these games the up from uh, Sea of Darkness. If you ask me, That's one thing that doesn't change. Lottery. It's just the It'll beginning. Be There's no more uh, voiceover narration by her sitting at her she desk. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. Dylan has nearly recovered, and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. Hopefully he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II. And Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Okay, so Abdullah's the Jamila culprit here, but it, he was black. I think, uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised if she well, I don't think he was, I don't know if he was blackmailing Lily, but he was more or less forcing her to help him. So she did put the, the cobra on Nancy's bed. I'm looking forward to reading it, just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. As for me, I'm happy to have had an adventure and delighted to But at least no home. charges were filed There's against like her. The end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is and I just remembered I forgot to let the Oh, you go. forgot to let the cobra go. I better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Love, Nancy. Okay. All right, trivia time. Uh, who, who is depicted over the four low... That's the Mott. Okay, so... 
even, despite the new interface and lots of other changes, this is the last game to feature the meta awards. Uh, that's what they're called when they're like this. The next game and up to Sea of Darkness, the awards will be as trophies. Um, okay, I've got seven. Wow, Easter egg and uh, trivia tamer, I thought so. Translating, great, drinking all that water, breaking the codes. Um, okay, so another change, obviously, uh, as you can see, well, read here. Um, instead of, when I press this arrow, instead of cutting to the next, uh, t a teaser for the next game, it'll cut right to the credits, but then in sequence, then it'll play, um, uh, well, it'll feature, like, moments of concept art of the characters and dialogue you hear, no outtakes, and then that, then it shows the teaser for the next game, The Deadly Device. So I'm just going to let the press that, let the credits roll, and then everything else. So I'm going to sign off my commentary when the teaser trailer for The Deadly Device plays, or as it nears the, the end of it. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Oh, so that's Lily's last name, Crew. Well, I'm not saying much because <clears throat> I generally, you know, fin give up my final thoughts during the end credits after the teaser trailer for the next game plays, but I'm not doing that here because there's still a little more to go, but, uh, uh, well, that, I can just say, like, that's everything, that's, so that was my walkthrough for Tomb of the Lost Queen. Okay, so yeah, here, the concept art images, like, it, concept art, like, it's also, it looks like two-dimensional artwork, I can say, tell you that. had a dream. Two children, a boy and a girl with gray, lifeless eyes stood in his room, watching him. Finally, the girl said, Storm. That next night, a terrible storm descended on the boat, and two men were lost to sea. That night they came to him in a dream again. They stood even I feel with each, uh, when I get to the end of each succeeding game, game the and walkthrough of these games, then I, I'm running out of things I want to tell the audience, the uh, people who so watch my walkthroughs. Uh, if I, but if I can say, is this one of my favorites? Well, not really. I don't dislike it, but I guess it's more in the middle. Um, they said. Captain woke in a cold sweat and ordered the uh, to be dropped into the deep. The ship made it to port. I haven't. But the captain some of these uh, the later games in the series, I've only played a few times. I haven't. I haven't mastered many of them or memorized like the the synopses, the ga overall gameplay. So I can't tell you exactly which one if they, I like them more than I dislike them or where they stand among my favorites. I can tell you that the previous game to this, Alibi and Ashes, is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I like Ghost of Thornton Hall, which I'll be playing in a, a little later. I mean, I think I'm more familiar with that than I am with this game. But still, this is, I, I do like it. I mean, I like many of the games, but it's, when you have these many games, it's hard for me to put them on a spectrum and say where they stand with my most loved, my most hated, or most disliked. Yeah, but that hat, Dylan really does remind me of Indiana Jones. I mean, this is something that Indiana Jones might do as an archaeologist. I mean, I guess one thing I do like about this game is taking place so far away from Nancy's home. On, I mean, on a dig site in Egypt, this is like every archaeologist's dream, or Egypt Egyptologist's dream. Uh, 
what can you call this outtakes if you hear these conversations that don't exist okay here's the teaser for the deadly device and that's it for my walkthrough of tomb of the lost queen i hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed playing it i'll see you in the next video walkthrough until next time nancy drew clue crew one of the world's top scientists was found dead. With the case now cold, it's up to me to bring the murderer to justice without becoming the next victim of the deadly device.